Maybe George is too small to go to my playgroup. He'll be fine, Pepper. There'll be you and Mr. Dinosaur there to keep him company. Grr, dinosaur. <laughs> but I want to play with the big children. Not George and his toy dinosaur. Oh dear. Pepper doesn't want George to go to her playgroup. We're here. Daddy, are you sure George is big enough? He'll be fine. <coughs> All right. He can come. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Madam Gazelle looks after the children at the playgroup. Hello. This is my little brother, George. <laughs> Hello, George. <laughs> I wish I had a little brother like George. Really? Hello, I'm Danny Dog. Is that a dinosaur? It's just a toy dinosaur. Grrr, dinosaur. Brilliant. Dinosaur. Grrr. <laughs> dinosaur. Grrr. Ah, really scary. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. George is my brother. He's brilliant. Pepper is proud of her little brother, George. Peppa Pig. Now, Peppa, run and join your friends. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. We begin with Demi Plie. Demi Plie. Now, a little jump. Petit jeté. With grace and beauty. Petit jeté. Grace and beauty. Petit jeté. Grace and beauty. <laughs> the ballet lesson is a lot of fun. Raise your arms. Imagine that you are beautiful swans. And what noise do you think a swan might make? Peppa loves dancing. Everyone loves dancing. Peppa Pig. Everyone wants to sit next to Emily Elephant. Emily, you put one block on top of another. Like this. It's better if you put them side by side. <laughs> no, this way, Emily. Meow. This is the right way, Emily. Nay. No, Emily. Like this. You are all being very helpful. But, Emily, how would you play with the blocks? Um, I'm not very sure. I might do it like this. Wow! Emily Elephant is good at building blocks. It is playtime. <laughs> Emily, would you like to play outside with the others? Yes, please. Can someone show Emily where we play? <laughs> yes, Madam Gazelle. <laughs> At playtime, Peppa and her friends play in the school garden. You can't catch me. What a lot of noise. <laughs> Let's see who is the loudest. OK, I'll go first. <gasps> squeak, squeak! That was quite loud. Now it is Zoe Zebra's turn. <gasps> now Susie Sheep. <laughs> now Danny Dog. 
That was very loud. My turn. Meow. My turn. Nay. My turn. <coughs> Pepper is the loudest. <laughs> <laughs> Emily, you try. I'm not too sure. Please, Please Emily. Emily. OK, I'll try. <gasps> <gasps> My goodness, that was loud. Wow. Do it again. <gasps> <laughs> Emily is not shy anymore. Pepper Pig. Next race is the relay. Each child needs to pick a parent to race with. Pepper, pick me! Pick me! But Daddy, you're not very good at running. I was very good when I was a little piggy. But now you have a big tummy. But I can still touch my toes. <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> All right, Daddy, but you must run very fast. <laughs> the mummies and daddies will run the first part of the race and then hand the batons to the children. Mummies and daddies, ready, steady, go! <laughs> run, run, Daddy! Daddy! daddy Pig is in the lead. Come on, Daddy! Come on, Daddy! Thank you, Daddy. You did very well. Now it's my turn to Pepper, take... stop talking and run! Oh! Meow! <laughs> <laughs> <Hey. gasps> Keep, Keep running! Keep running! Keep running! Go on! And the winner is Emily Elephant. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Daddy, I haven't won a prize yet. Don't worry, Pepper. There's still one more event. And now for the last event of the day, the tug of war. Boys against girls. <laughs> when I say go, you must pull the rope with all your strength. The girls will win. <laughs> no, they won't. The boys will win. Ready, steady, go. Come, Come on, boys. Come on, pull. Come on, the girls. Everyone is pulling so hard, the rope is breaking. Whoa! <laughs> Daddy Pig has made Mummy Pig breakfast in bed. Happy birthday, Mummy Pig! Pepper and George have made Mummy Pig a birthday card. Happy birthday, Mummy! <laughs> oh, what a lovely birthday surprise! And there are more surprises to come. Enjoy your birthday breakfast. Take your time. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> yummy. Quick, we have to get everything else ready. Daddy Pig has made a birthday cake for Mummy Pig. <gasps> We've just got to put the candles on. <laughs> One, two... Here I come. Mummy Pig has finished her birthday breakfast. Mummy's coming. Oh, no. We're not ready yet. Uh, who is it? It's Mummy. Can I come in? No, no! Is there something secret going on? Uh, no, nothing's going on. But you can't come in. I see. <laughs> Mummy Pig, why don't you relax in the sitting room? That sounds nice. Well, it is your birthday. OK, Pepper. I think I know what the sitting room is. <laughs> here's a nice magazine. Thank you, Pepper. And here's some pretty music. Thank you, Pepper. <laughs> 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 we need the same number of candles as Mummy's age. One, two, three. Oh dear, we haven't got nearly enough candles. Daddy, how old is Mummy? I'll whisper it in your ear. <laughs> wow, really old. <laughs> you know, I think three candles will be fine. Mummy Pig's birthday cake is ready. <laughs> Peppa Pig. George, I've made you a birthday card. Can you guess what the picture is? George cannot guess. I was going to paint you a flower. Oh. George does not like flowers. But in the end, I painted you a dinosaur. That's a lovely picture, Peppa. 
Yes, I'm very good at painting. <laughs> now, we're going somewhere very special for George's birthday treat. Yippee! Let's go! Where are we going? You'll see. <laughs> the family are setting off for George's birthday treat. Are we going to the circus? No, but it's somewhere just as good. Um, is it the cinema? No, much better. I just can't guess. Where can they be going? We're here. The family have arrived at the museum. Why are we at the museum? Come on, you'll see. What can George's birthday treat be? George? What do you like best in the whole world? Dinosaur. <laughs> Ooh, dinosaur. George's birthday treat is a visit to the museum dinosaur room. Huh, silly old dinosaurs again. <laughs> dinosaur. <gasps> Be frightened, George. It's not a real dinosaur. It's just a robot. Look, I stand on this spot and. <laughs> and now there's another surprise. <laughs> All of George and Peppa's friends are here. Surprise! <laughs> Mummy Rabbit has made a birthday cake for George. Can anyone guess what sort of cake it is? A dinosaur cake. It is! What an amazing guess, Peppa! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, George! George. <laughs> Peppa Pig. OK, George, that's enough stirring. There, Daddy Pig's chocolate cake. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> now, we just have to bake it in the oven. Mummy! Can I lick the spoon? Yes, you can lick the spoon and George can lick the bowl. Yippee! Pepper and George love chocolate cake mixture. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Daddy Pig. He's missing all the fun. Mummy, can I ring Daddy at work and say happy birthday? That's a nice idea. <laughs> this is the office where Daddy Pig works. Hello, Mr Rabbit speaking. May I speak to Daddy Pig, please? Someone for you, Daddy Pig. It sounds important. Hello, Daddy Pig speaking. Happy birthday, Daddy! <coughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> Thank you, Pepper. Don't be late home, Daddy. Bye-bye. <coughs> Bye-bye. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Daddy, Daddy Pig! Pig. <laughs> Thank you. <coughs> There's just one more thing to do before Daddy gets home. Yes, Daddy's birthday surprise. <laughs> Shh, George, remember, it's a secret. Shh. <laughs> Peppa and George have buckets of water. Mummy Pig has balloons. <laughs> I wonder what Daddy Pig's birthday surprise can be. <laughs> Quick, back to the house. Daddy Pig is home from work. Happy birthday, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Wow, what a lot of candles. That's because you are very, very old, Daddy. <laughs> you must blow out all your candles in one go. <laughs> I'll do my best. <gasps> <laughs> and here's your birthday present. Thank you. New boots. Fantastic. Peppa Pig. What is it? A doll's dress. I can put it on Teddy. Thank you, everyone. You're welcome, Peppa. I didn't know Teddy was a girl, Teddy. Daddy. Of course Teddy's a girl. I love my new dress. Thank you, everyone. You're welcome, Teddy. Don't get it dirty. 
Do you know what's happening next, Pepper? Yes! My friends are coming for my birthday party. And Daddy's doing a magic show. <laughs> no one will know the magician is your Daddy. You will introduce me as the Amazing Mysterio. The Amazing Mysterio. Yes, the Amazing Mysterio. Daddy's been practising his magic tricks all week. My friends are here. <laughs> Yippee! Here are Peppa's friends. Candy Cat, Susie Sheep, Danny Dog, Rebecca Rabbit and Pedro Pony. Hello, everyone. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Peppa. <laughs> Nay. Come on, children. The party is starting. Hooray! <laughs> Daddy Pig is going to do a magic show. Peppa, remember what you have to say. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the amazing Mysterio. OK, Daddy. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's Magic Daddy! Hooray! For my first trick, Abracadabra! <gasps> wow! It's Daddy! Peppa Pig. Be the Black Galleon fast and the wind at our backs will away! What does that me. Run to the boat! Yo ho ho! Yee haw! <laughs> oh there! Put your life jackets on! <laughs> on Grandad Dog's boat, all the children must wear life jackets. That scurvy dog beard should be here by now. Here's a nice cup of tea, Grandpa Pig. Oh, thank you, Granny Pig. At last. Are we all ready now? Mr Dogbeard, I need to go to the toilet. And me. And me. And me. And me. And me. What can be keeping them? Hello, Grandad Dog? I thought you said you were on your way. Yes, yes, we're almost there. It's taken a while to get my crew together. Anchors away! Full sail! Land ahoy! The children have arrived at Grandpa Pig's orchard. <laughs> the game is to get that treasure without being caught. Hooray for the pirates! Shush, Mummy! I hope there are no pirates around here trying to take my lovely treasure. Pepper and her friends have got the coins without being caught. It's chocolate coins. Everybody loves chocolate coins. Yum, yum, yum. yum. Ah! Got you! Grandad Dog has been caught. Try and take my treasure, would you? Tis mine! I won it fair and square! Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, yes, I did. Uh, uh, thank you, Captain Hog and Dogbeard, for the lovely pirate game. Oh, you're very welcome. Uh, oh, yes. It's been lots of fun. Happy birthday, Danny! <laughs> This be the best pirate party ever! <laughs> oh, look! Someone's got a party invitation. It must be for me! It says, to George Pig from Edmund Elephant. Please come to my party. Doesn't it say George and Pepper? No, just George. Hmm, I didn't want to go to a silly baby party anyway. Hello. Oh, it's for you, Pepper. It's Emily Elephant. Hello. Hello, Pepper. Do you want to come to Edmund's party as my friend? Oh, yes, please. My mummy wants us to help with the little ones. Help? Yes, I can help. Danny and Susie are helpers too. Oh, goody. 
<laughs> Everyone is here for Edmund Elephant's party. <laughs> oh, the helpers are here. Hello, Hello Mrs. Elephant. Elephant. Let's get this party started. <laughs> Who wants to play musical statues? Yay! This is what you do. Dance when the music is playing. And when it stops, freeze like a statue. Ready, steady, go! Head, shoulders, knees and toes Just knees and toes. dance already! Head, shoulders, <laughs> knees and toes, knees and toes. <laughs> This one is still blinking! You're out! <laughs> You're moving, George! You're out! <laughs> Richard and Edmund are out! <laughs> so Zaza is the winner! You've got a medal. It's made of real plastic gold. Pepper <laughs> Pig. It's a big slide. Whee! Whee! Whoa! Whee! Wow! It's a big dinosaur. Yes, it's my whopping ginormous. Dinosaur slide! Ah! That is some dinosaur. He's a brontosaurus. Actually, the correct name is a patasaurus. You're a bit of a clever clogs, aren't you? Yes. Right, my little explorers. Are you ready for the next bit of the adventure? Yes, Frankie Mac. We have to find an egg. An egg? But eggs are little. It could be anywhere. Leave it to me. Foxes love hunting for eggs. Freddy Fox has a very good sense of smell. Wow! What an egg! It's huge! Why is the egg so big? It's a dinosaur egg. Is it real? No, it's better than real. It's pretend. Watch this. <laughs> the dinosaur egg has a birthday cake inside it. <laughs> it's not a pretend cake, is it, Grumpy Rabbit? No, the cake is very real and very tasty. Who wants some? Me! 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 Birthday boy first. Here you go, Freddy. Happy birthday, Freddy! <laughs> George is a bit too little for the roundabout. He is playing on the swing. Here is Rebecca Rabbit with her little brother, Richard Rabbit. Hello, everyone. Hello. <laughs> Can I come on the roundabout too? Hop on, Rebecca. <laughs> Let's go really, really fast. Richard Rabbit wants to go on the roundabout too. Oh, if Richard gets on, it means we can't go fast. Richard can play with George. Richard, would you like to play with George? No. George is a dinosaur just like yours. Let's go and see. Richard Rabbit is the same age as George. Richard wanted to see George's dinosaur. Grrr, dinosaur. <laughs> George, can Richard play with your dinosaur? No. Richard, can George play with your dinosaur? No. George and Richard do not want to share their dinosaurs. George, it will be much more fun if you share. That was really nice of George. <laughs> dinosaur! George does not like sharing. Richard, let George hold the dinosaurs now. <laughs> Richard does not like sharing either. <laughs> What's all this crying about? George and Richard always cry when they play together. They're just too little to play properly. Can you two big girls teach them to play together? Of course. We can help them make sand castles. Good idea. Let's go to the sand pit. <laughs> George and 
Richard loved the sandpit. George, Richard, today we are going to make sand castles. First, we fill the buckets with sand. We turn the buckets over and give them a little tap. Now, we lift the buckets. Hey, presto! Richard has made a sandcastle. Hey, presto! And George has made a sandcastle. <laughs> you see, playing together is fun. <laughs> oh dear, this game has not gone very well. Hello, I'm Kylie Kangaroo. I'm Peppa Pig. <coughs> and this is my little brother, George. <coughs> this is my little brother, Joey. <coughs> Joey lives in Mummy Kangaroo's pocket. <coughs> it's thirsty work, this travelling around. Would you like a drink? Yes, please. Lemonade. My favourite. Mmm, that's lovely. Here, sit down. Are you hungry? I'm always hungry. No worries. We'll make lunch. Mr Kangaroo is going to cook lunch on a barbecue. Corn on the cob, anyone? Yummy. Yummy. We should do this at our house. Hang on. This is our house. Now it's time for Pass the Parcel. Yay! When the music plays, pass the parcel round. When the music stops, take some paper off. Ready, steady, go! George, pass the parcel! Edmund has got a medal. Richard, just take the paper off. Richard has got a medal. <laughs> George has got a medal. <laughs> Pass the parcel. Oh dear, George isn't passing the parcel. <laughs> <laughs> it's a giant teddy. Edmund has one. <laughs> Mummy, pass the parcel is finished. Um, lovely. Now it's time for food. Hooray! <laughs> oh, the helpers have taken all the seats. This is Edmund's party, remember? The helpers can eat after the little ones. Oh, yes. We're the helpers. <laughs> Goose, please. Cheese, please. Juice, please. Jelly, please. Jelly, jelly. More, please. Happy birthday, Edmund. Happy birthday, Edmund. <laughs> It is the end of the party. Thank you to the helpers. You all worked really hard. Yes. It's not easy looking after little children. <sighs> I need to lie down. I need a holiday.
This is my little brother, George. <laughs> Hello, George. <laughs> I wish I had a little brother like George. Really? Hello, I'm Danny Dog. <laughs> Is that a dinosaur? <laughs> it's just a toy dinosaur. Grr, dinosaur. Brilliant. <laughs> dinosaur. Grr. <laughs> Dinosaur. Grr. Ah, really scary. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. George is my brother. He's brilliant. Peppa is proud of her little brother, George. Aho, children. Today we will be learning all about numbers. Does anybody know what numbers are for? Are numbers for counting? Yes, Peppa. Who would like to do some counting now? Me! 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 me. OK, Pedro. Uh, one, two, three, four. Pedro has counted to four. Well done, Pedro. Can anyone count higher than four? Me! 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 Rebecca. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Rebecca has counted to seven. Excellent, Rebecca. Madam Gazelle? Yes, Candy? My mum can count to ten. Wow! Yes, after seven, there is eight, nine, ten. Eight, nine, ten. Very good. It is playtime. <laughs> Rebecca Rabbit, Zoe Zebra, Susie Sheep and Pepper all like to skip. I like sand. I like sea. I like Susie to skip with me. <laughs> I like ping. I like pong. I like Zoe to skip along. <laughs> I know. Let's see who can skip the most without stopping. Squeak! I'll count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Zoe wins. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Shall we show George how we paint pictures? George is not very good at painting. Well, maybe you could help him. Yes, I'm very good. I will show him how to paint a flower. George, today I'm going to teach you how to paint a flower. First, you paint a big circle. George, that's the wrong colour. <coughs> now you paint the flower's petals. George, <coughs> that's the wrong shape. <coughs> now you paint the stalk and the leaves. <coughs> Perfect. <coughs> George, you have done it all wrong. Now, what do we have here? I've painted a flower. That's very good, Pepper. And George has painted a dinosaur. Grrr, dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. I think George and Pepper's pictures should go on the wall. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Peppa, you must be very proud of your little brother. Yes, I am. Oh, dear. We can't decide what to throw out. I know. We'll let Peppa and George decide. OK. <laughs> Let's throw away this old case. Oh, oh not, not that, that one. one. This isn't just any old case. It's a record player. Ooh. And this was our favourite record. Can we play it? Yes. Oh, oh, we haven't heard it for years. Oh, this 
just takes me back. <laughs> Come on, Pepper and George. Let's dance. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig is here to pick up Pepper and George. Hello. Where are you? Mummy Pig cannot find anyone. What's that noise? <laughs> Mummy! Hello. We've been dancing to Granny and Grandpa's favourite record. Yes. Granny and Grandpa played it all the time. Ooh. And here's the record I used to play when I was a little piggy. What is it? It's called Birdie Birdie Woof Woof. Not Birdie Birdie Woof Woof. You were always playing that. I thought we'd thrown that out ages ago. Ah. The birds go woof and the dogs go tweet. Woof tweet, woof tweet, woof woof woof. <laughs> the sheep go moo and the cows go ba. Moo ba, woof tweet, woof ba, moo tweet, woof woof woof. <laughs> <laughs> again, again. Ah. The birds go woof, woof and the dogs go tweet. tweet. Woof tweet, woof tweet, woof woof woof. The sheep go moo and the cows go ba. Moo ba, woof tweet, woof ba, moo tweet, woof woof woof. That was fun, but we were supposed to be finding some things to throw out. Pepper, what should we throw out and what should we keep? Hmm, I think you should keep. Everything. Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> we can start painting. <laughs> Blue. Blue. Come on, George. <laughs> Blue It's Magic Daddy The Amazing Mysterio Ooh. Rocket Blast off <laughs> Pink Yellow, red, games anymore. We're almost grown up. What about the yes-no game? What's the yes-no game? I ask things and you answer. What makes that a game? You mustn't say yes or no. Too easy. Do you want to play then? Yes. Ah, you said yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair. I wasn't ready. B, are you ready? Yes. Aha, I win again. <laughs> Pepper is very good at playing the yes-no game. Can 
I ask the questions? Of course. You don't mind me asking you the questions? I don't mind. Am I ever going to make you say yes or no? I don't think so. Oh, I give up. How do you always win? Easy. I just don't say yes or no. Ah, I win. You said yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Let's play another game. Have you ever played sardines? What's that? Someone hides and we all try to find them. That sounds like hide and seek. But when you find them, you keep quiet and hide in the same space until everyone is hiding there. Like sardines in a tin. All right, let's try it. <laughs> George, you hide first. <laughs> One, two, three. George is looking for somewhere to hide. Nine, ten. With your knots, here we come. <laughs> George, I can see your wiggly tail. <laughs> Pepper is hiding with George. Move over, George. <laughs> Found you. Now Chloe must squeeze in with Pepper and George. <laughs> Move up. <laughs> Now Belinda Bear must squeeze in too. Budge up. <laughs> We're like sardines in a tin. <laughs> Where's everyone gone? Surprise! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Can we stop running around now? Yeah. Let's just chill out. Chill out? What's that? We just sit around and talk about stuff. I like talking. Blah, blah, blah. Let's talk about music. I dig blues music. Um, I like red's music. I like green's music. We don't like children's music. No, no, no. no, no. no. What music are you into? I like this. It's very grown up. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. <laughs> Just the spot for our picnic. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's great to be outdoors. We should run around a bit and get some exercise. I want to eat, then have a nap. I certainly don't want to run around. Maybe Daddy should run around a bit. His tummy is quite big. My tummy is not big. But later, I will get some exercise, even if no one else does. <laughs> Let's eat. Good idea, Mummy Pig. I'm really hungry. Mm. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I feel quite sleepy. I thought you wanted to run around a bit, Daddy Pig. So much for Daddy Pig and his exercise. <laughs> uh, what? You lot again? Pepper told you, there's no more bread. Mummy, we do have strawberry cake. Well, if there's any cake left over, you can give it to the ducks. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone likes Mummy Pig's homemade strawberry cake. <laughs> Friends have been eating my vegetables again. Which friends? Tom, Dick, and Harry. <coughs> Those aren't their names. Granny Pig has chickens. <coughs> wow! Say hello to Jemima, Sarah, and Vanessa. Hello. <coughs> and here is Neville. <coughs> it's Neville. 
Pepper a boy chicken? Yes, Pepper. He's a cockerel. He's the worst. Scratching up my vegetables. Neville wouldn't hurt a fly. I've seen him eat flies. <coughs> and he ate my lettuce. You don't want to eat Grandpa's lettuce, do you? <coughs> Not when there's lovely corn to eat. <coughs> Come on, this way home. <coughs> Peppa, George, would you like to feed corn to the chickens? Yes, please, Granny. <coughs> Here you are, chickens. Eat up. <coughs> Ooh, you've got a Wendy house. That's the chicken coop. It's where the chickens lay their eggs. Eggs? I can't see any eggs. Not now, but there will be eggs soon. Ooh! It is bedtime for Pepper and George at Granny and Grandpa's house. <laughs> <laughs> Have the chickens laid their eggs yet, Granny? Maybe in the morning, Pepper. How will we know when it's morning? Neville will tell us. Now, go to sleep. Night, night. It is morning. It's Neville! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for waking us up, Neville. <laughs> Good morning, Jemima, Sarah and Vanessa. Do you have any eggs for us? One, two, three, four. Four eggs, Granny. Now we'll have eggs for breakfast. Thank you, Jemima, Sarah and Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs> Boiled eggs for everyone. Hooray! Mmm, delicious. <coughs> Granny, your chickens make yummy eggs. Eggs. Yes, it's all that lovely corn they eat. And my lettuces. B R E A D. They're on holiday. Let's have our picnic lunch. The ducks always turn up when, when... we have picnics. <laughs> Peppa and George love picnics. <laughs> Look, it's the ducks. Stop, Daddy. We need bread for the ducks. <laughs> All right. Hello, Mrs. Duck. Here come more ducks. All their brothers and sisters are here. And here come more ducks. It's the Granny and Grandpa ducks. And here are all the aunties and uncles. Oh, oh, that's the last of our picnic gone. Ducks, say thank you to Daddy Pig. Ho, ho, you're most welcome. <laughs> I love Duckland. <laughs> It is time to go home. I wonder what's the shortest way home. Drive straight ahead into the river. Oh, are you sure? Yes, drive into the river. But we can't drive in the river. Yes, it's talking nonsense. Please press the blue button. <laughs> Camper van is driving into the river. <laughs> Our camper van has turned into a boat. I wasn't quite expecting that. Welcome to the car of the future. Look, it's Grandad Dog and Danny Dog. Ahoy there, Daddy Pig. <coughs> uh, ahoy there. Beep, beep. Sailing on the river in the camper van. <laughs> Drive up the next hill. You have reached your destination. We're, We're home. home.
Today is a day for pancakes. Pancakes? Delicious. <laughs> I love pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone loves pancakes. I'm the expert at flipping the pancakes over. Leave that to me. Are you sure, Daddy Pig? Last time you got a bit grumpy when you dropped the pancake on the floor. I did not get grumpy. There was a problem with the frying pan. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, can we help make the pancakes, please? <coughs> yes, you can help me make the batter. <coughs> First, I put some flour in the bowl. Ooh. Now I add an egg. Now the milk. And I give it all a stir. <coughs> Mummy, can I stir? Yes, of course, Pepper. Pepper loves stirring. George wants to stir as well. <laughs> <laughs> no, George, like this. <laughs> <laughs> OK, that's enough stirring. You two sit at the table while I cook the pancakes. <laughs> Mummy Pig is going to flip the pancake over. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> you could flip it higher, Mummy Pig. You can show us how when you flip your own pancake, Daddy Pig. This first pancake is for George. Mummy Pig pours a little syrup on George's pancake. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> this pancake is for Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> mm, you could flip it higher, Mummy Pig. You will get a chance to show me when you flip your own pancake, Daddy Pig. Syrup, please. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> S. First, we have to wash them. Pepper and George help Granny Pig wash the vegetables. <laughs> Maybe that's enough washing. Granny Pig has made the tomatoes, lettuce and cucumber into a salad. Grandpa Pig, can you call everyone to lunch? Lunch! <laughs> Granny Pig has made pizza for lunch. And here's some salad, made with Grandpa's tomatoes, lettuce and cucumber. Tuck in, everyone. <laughs> George has eaten his pizza, but George does not like the tomatoes, or the lettuce, or the cucumber. Oh, dear, George. Don't you like the salad? No. George. Just try a little bit of this lovely tomato. Yuck! George, this is cucumber. Grandpa Pig grew it in his garden. Yeah. Try a piece of lettuce, George. It's yummy. <coughs> oh, now, now, George. <laughs> Look what I'm doing. <laughs> Now it's a dinosaur. A dinosaur. <laughs> George loves dinosaurs. George is eating the tomatoes, lettuce and cucumber. Well done, George. Would you like some more, George? Full. George, are you too full to eat any more tomatoes, lettuce or cucumber? George is too full to eat any more. George, are you too full to eat anything more? <coughs> George is too full to eat anything more. Oh, well. Then you won't want any of this chocolate cake. Chocolate cake! <coughs> <coughs> My word! 
George seems to have got his appetite back. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. 